The dwarves of Urguan, one of the four descendant races. Small in stature, but fearsome and unyielding. There are an array of dwarves, from forest dwarves, to cave, to mountain dwarves. Each possess their own cultural and physical traits. Typically, dwarves take great pride in their fighting prowess, but in fact, their ideals are built off of honor and they evoke this in battle. Unlike many other nations, the dwarven nation, the Grand Kingdom of Urguan, utilizes elective monarchy and democracy under the Articles of Urguan, which are ultimately their codes and laws which every dwarf strives to abide by. Dwarven society is split into clans. Of these clans, there are the Elder Clans, the direct descendants of the Sons of Urguan, the Great Clans, the current five clans who hold political power in the Thane system, and various lesser clans. The current most notable clans being Grand Axe, Ironheart, Iron Grinder, Treebeard, Goldhand, Iron Gut, and Starbreaker. Dwarves range from three to five feet tall, five being very tall. Most have a thick, long beard and dress according to their trade. Dwarven blacksmiths are amongst the most revered in the land, their skill in the anvil unmatched by other races. Similarly, dwarf miners supposedly can hollow out a mountain in a week. Notably, cave dwarves are more focused on their trades than their mountain or forest brethren. Cave dwarves are generally shorter than mountain dwarves, and sometimes have darkened skin due to their long time underground. Notable cave dwarven clans include Iron Grinder, Starbreaker, and Iron Gut. Iron Guts are generally known to be the only clan that uses magic, and the Starbreakers are known for their golemancy and smithing. The Iron Grinder clan is notable for being the only non-elder clan to ever ascend to being a great clan. Mountain dwarves are usually larger than any other dwarf, and are more focused on warfare and combat. The most notable of Mountain Dwarf clans are Ironheart, Grand Axe, and Frostbeard. Grand Axes are known for their long line of kings and political succession. Ironhearts for their fearsome warriors, and Frostbeards for their distinct culture and berserker warriors. Forest Dwarves are rare, however there is one elder clan, Treebeard, that is a Forest Dwarf clan. Forest Dwarves usually live within the confines of either a forest or a druid's grove and will oft times become druids themselves. In order to join a clan, a dwarf must usually find the clan father of the clan and undergo a set of trials or an initiation process. The initiation process and rites of passage for each clan differ greatly. The dwarves follow the religion of the Brath Mordekin, which is a pantheon of dwarven gods. Most notable among these gods is the creator, Yamakar. The dwarven people have a hearty enjoyment of mass quantities of ale and food, However, despite their love of celebration and intoxication, there are next to no dwarven women. Dwarven society usually offers various guilds for each hobby, skill, or trade. The blacksmithing guild teaches lads the basics of forging and repairing, showing them the ropes and eventually progressing them to a higher level. The dwarven legion is the military. The kingdom believes in its discipline and punctuality. Almost every dwarf serves a term in the legion. It is a gateway to many higher positions. There's also an engineering guild which innovates and inspires with its new inventions. The clergy leads the dwarves religiously and teaches the ways of the Breath Mordekin. And finally, there's Yamakar's workforce for even the raw manual labor.